It's shocking, but not surprising. For the Colson Center, I'm John Stone Street with a point. Recently on Breakpoint, I mentioned the disturbing new trend of drag queen story hours spreading across the country. Confused men, often overdressed in ridiculously flamboyant outfits, read books, usually filled with LGBTQ propaganda, to young children with the full endorsement of the American Library Association. Only a thoroughly, morally inept society would tolerate, much less embrace, something like this. When news broke that one of the drag queens reading at a Houston story hour was in fact the convicted child molester, the library quickly distanced themselves from that individual but continues to stand by the story hour. It's as if it's a surprise that there might be some connection between men wanting to perform in garish women's clothes in front of young children and those same men being sexually attracted to children. Of course, not all drag queens are pedophiles, but that's not the point. This is... When those who are to protect and educate children like libraries and schools instead choose to inherently sexualize them, don't be surprised when it happens. I'm John Stone Street.